Karen, with the concept of deliberate and emergent strategies, you tell a short but great story about Walmart and sort of how Bentonville came into play. Would you just share that story? I think I've thought about it dozens of times since I read about it, about how does that apply in my own life? You know, where do I think I'm going and where will I end up and will that be okay? Well, Walmart's a great example, and I don't know if this is apocryphal or it's just a great story. It's a great story, but it is a great story. If it's true, it's especially a great story. We all think of Walmart as being so smart by placing their locations outside of major urban areas where uh, they can kind of own the entire market, and people will have to drive for miles to get there because they don't have to go into the big city, and they're not competing with uh, other urban retailers. So we think of this as, wow, they had a smart strategy from the beginning, but Legend has it that the founder of Walmart, Sam Walton, wanted to start it, I think it was in Memphis, start his first store in Memphis, and his wife did not want to move to Memphis. So she put her foot down. Our family is here. We want to be in Bentonville, Arkansas, I think. Uh, and they decided that, okay, shucks, we'll try to figure out how to make it work out here in the boondocks. And it turned out to be a brilliant strategy, but they did not know that it was a brilliant strategy until they started to execute it. That was serendipity for sure with, you know, human factors, uh, weighing very heavily in the decision. And it turned out to be a brilliant choice. And then they built their strategy around that location in time. It, it worked hand in hand with, became deliberate later on, started off as an emergent slash serendipitous choice. Karen.